Jesus. I was juiced as well. Oh, he must have done so much damage. Cicelaris touched. Divine. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that didn't <get> Okay guys, welcome on into the video. So as you see from the title today, I'm gonna explain everything that I've learned about the God Touched over the past six weeks. Now, one thing I immediately wanna discuss is how Arch Nem functions within the game. Obviously, you see it everywhere. However, I think people have this illusion that if you're not focusing the God Touched, if you're not running Magic Find, you can suddenly no longer make currency. But I've shown strategies where the God Touched are seemingly very worthless. You don't need them at all. And to me, what is the problem is that Archnem in and of itself, if you focus it, it's a very fun farm and it's a decent mechanic. Now, if you could turn on and off Archnem and it would then be a mechanic that you uh, choose to farm, I think it'd actually be pretty good. Obviously, you'd have to tone it down a little bit, as I've mentioned. But other than that, I actually don't hate it. I've been quite enjoying focusing it and getting the loot explosions. I just think it's turned up a bit high and the fact that it's involved in every single mechanic in the game makes it somewhat problematic. Ever since day two of the league, I've been relentlessly farming Legion, Breach, Abyss, Delirium, beyond everything, I've given it all a shot. And I've come to understand some things about the God Touched and the ratios of what you can expect to get through my tracking. It is a lot simpler than most people seem to believe. So here's a little notepad I've made just with a few rules about Archnem that I've definitely learned so far. This isn't obviously all encompassing, but it's the most important ones in my opinion. Archnem mobs all have the chance to have up to four modifiers unless there is one thing met. And that is if they do not have a chance to drop loot. This is a change they made a little bit into the league and most importantly, it affected Harbinger. Harbinger lost the ability to have four mod res. Having a four mod Archnem, however, does not always mean you get what we're going to call a T4 mod or a God Touched. You can get multiple T3 mods, which is your empowering minions, Droughtbringer, all that kind of stuff. What causes this to, to confuse people is they see four mods and their eyes light up and they think it's about to drop 10 divides, which just isn't the case. Now, the next thing that uh, causes a lot of issues and, and a bit of disappointment in some people is that the conversion applies from left to right. So it goes one, two, three, four. So if you get a modifier that turns all of these items that the mob drops into flasks, the flasks are no longer available to be converted because flasks don't fit the criteria. They're not considered an item in this case. That's what causes your God Touch that should be converting stuff to currency to drop flasks. This also applies to gems. And maybe there's another one we'll look at when we get to the spreadsheet. So this is what causes those underwhelming outcomes. Now, the third thing that I've been trying to preach through the farm videos is that Reliquary Scarabs are insane for God Touch if you choose to target the God Touch. And they are the best way to scale the rewards, assuming you have a baseline of rarity. So I do have a little table here. This is obviously, everyone's seen this. Uh, it's all the modifiers and what they do. I've got them highlighted to show kind of the good ones, the bad ones. Uh, as you can see straight away, the blue ones are kind of the whatever. They don't really do anything. Uh, you can kind of see the combination. So so for a little example, if you were to get a mob that had, and then you got empowering minions and a temporal bubble, what this is going to do is every item that drops is going to have maximum sockets and they're going to be fully linked. This is what causes you to drop all those six links now and again. Now red are the, the bricks, so to speak. You obviously have Necromancer, which is where you're getting all these blacksmith whetstones, armor scraps, and maybe some GCPs every now and again. This just causes any item that drops with quality to then be converted into something that drops uh, whetstones and whatnot. Okay, so Droughtbringer, this is where you get all your flasks. Same thing. Then for crystal skinned, gems as well. Gems aren't an item, they're a gem. So if everything turns to a gem, you can't turn them into currency based on their rarity, as you can see on the Lunaris Touch. So the best ones, and the ones that you really want to look out for, at least in my experience, is this mirror image and opulent. So mirror image basically just doubles the amount of items you're going to drop. Opulent is then 10,000% quantity and 20,000% rarity. So the biggest ones, the ones where you've probably seen people dropping north of 50 divines, is when they get the dream combo of Opulent and Lunaris Shikari or Solaris. TLDR, if you get a 4 mod, it is not essentially got a god touched. And if you get any of these so called bricks, it's just unlucky. You go again. Now, for the god touched, 
there's only four we care about. Only four of them scale based on rarity. And this is why rarity is so important. It's because maps don't scale with rarity. You can get you can get unique maps, sure, but who cares? You can get div cards don't scale with rarity. You've probably noticed whenever you see a Brian King or an Arakali, they they don't drop any good div cards. Katava, if you're MFing and you have a lot of rarity, then this doesn't really do anything because all it does is turn rare items into unique, magic into rare and so on. So now let's go on to the things that people kind of try to target in order to find the God Touched. I've kind of tiered these in terms of my experience in how I've how many God Touched I've found. Obviously Legion, I think everyone knows at this point, Legion is absolutely elite for finding God Touched. Abyss, Bestiary and Delirium, I would consider kind of in the A tier. Uh, less so Abyss. Abyss just gives you so many rares. It's, yeah, I can't put it lower despite my own personal bias against it and how annoying it is to do. Uh, bestiary, there's been some discussion about Bestiary and how because Einhar kills the mobs, your rarity and stuff doesn't apply to it, but I've not encountered that being an issue. Uh, Delirium just gives you so many rares, again, it's similar to Abyss and it's less annoying to do. Uh, Breach and Blight, they take a long time, but they do give a decent amount of rares, so that's why I will put these in kind of the B tier. And then in the C tier is the remaining mechanics. Ritual, Beyond, Harvest, Expedition, Strongbox. You can get them, and there are some caveats to this. Obviously, Expedition, you can get the good remnants that give you quantum rarity, so you're going to see a lot of Divines if you do find one, but they're just so overwhelmingly rare that I, I wouldn't really put it any higher than this. Strongbox, again, if you combine it with the Sextant, they can be very good. That 500% increased quantity is great, but again, too rare to consider, and I'm not even going to put Harbinger on it because Harbinger got absolutely destroyed by the patch notes earlier in the league. And finally... Here is my experience so far. So I've thought all league that it is literally an even waiting between which god touched you're going to find. 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10% and so on. Here is my currency touched to other. So there you see there are 3 out of 10 currency touched. I'm currently at 31.21%, which is, you know, on average, maybe a little bit more. So cue the flame saying that I'm super lucky. But, uh, you know... I do think it's an even way in, despite all the Arakalis, Brian Kings and all that you see. I do think it's literally just an even waiting to find all of them. So that's that guys. That is my understanding of the God Touched. If you have any more questions about the God Touched, feel free to let me know in the comments. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's just a quick one today. And thank you very much for watching.